fresh start. Well, what I can say, welcome to the first ever video of Johnny Ross Vlogs. Um, of course, you know, my name's Johnny. Um, I'm going to do vlogs on YouTube. You may have remembered me before from Jonathan Ross. I was doing football highlights on my previous channel. But um, I was crap at doing that and um, I decided to do vlogs. So nearly after taking a two-year sabbatical, I'm now back on YouTube. And um, I'm going to be doing vlogs from now on. Right, so my first ever session uh, YouTube video is going to be on a Q based on a Q&A session. Based from all my friends, they've just given me questions. And now to the whole of the public and to probably millions, maybe even thousands, maybe hundreds, maybe even in your tens watching this. Um, here we go. Let's start. I have, let me have a look. Eleven questions to answer. Let's hope I can get it done in fifteen minutes. Let's go. Question one: Why did I start YouTube? Okay, the reason why I started YouTube is because it's a it's a social thing to do, and um, I was believed by one of their posters. Oh, uh, not quite post. Oh, what on um London um. Well, London buses posters they kind of influenced me it said youtube broadcast yourself and i thought i want to do that and that's what i thought right so that's your answer to question one question two who inspired me to do youtube well that's possibly an easy question local guy well i'm a londoner local uh youtuber who probably has mi billions watching his videos um his name's comedy shorts gamer i mean he is the funniest i mean pranks prank calls i mean everything and uh, especially his video in the bar when the his barber the, his his local jamaican barber ruined his hair that is why i came out of um of my spectacle to, to youtube question three how is donald trump's wall gonna be built wow um that's kind of hmm. I actually don't know. If you give, um, I'm gonna think on that for quite a while. So, um, I'll be back in a bit. I'll be back in a bit just to answer that. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, right, back to question I was asked. How is Donald Trump's wall gonna be built? Okay, I have a feeling all the um U.S. people who probably um voted Clinton in the election, they must have gone yeah. All you, all you stupid, and then everyone's going, oh, you stupid people who voted Clinton, why can't you come out and help my stupid wall be built? Personally, I'm not a fan of Trump, but, um, um, sorry, sorry, no, um, no offence to all of you who live in the US, I, I wouldn't want to live in the US right now, I know most of you who are, most of the Clinton fans are actually suffering the pain of having to go through Trump and the, um, Republican administration, I have a feeling... That is going to be built uh, man-made. It could probably take years. It could probably take, I don't know, a millennium. Not even Trump. Probably Trump's died. And um, that's that's basically how Donald Trump's wall is going to be built. Question four. Am I good at tennis? That's actually an easy question to ask. I'm not trying to be biased here. I'm quite good at tennis. Um, I'm a regional champ. Um, uh, for years now, I've been doing tournaments across the country, about six or seven a year, including one national tournament. Um, and I've been winning uh, most of them. So I'll come and show you my medals. Give me a moment. Yeah, hey guys, I'm back. I've just got all my medals. So um, I'll show you them one by hand. This was, I don't know where my other one is from Wrexham. This is my um, gold at Wrexham. Now my next competition was in Scotland, in Edinburgh. I got gold for singles, and then I got bro uh, bronze for doubles. I'll show you here, yeah, it's clear. And then my national tournament, which I did better than I expected to do. So I've won in um, Wrexham, and then down my gold one in Wrexham. That was actually a good question to ask. Thank you very much to Mr. Charlie Levy who asked that. Um, question five: Do I like chicken? Boy, do I love chicken. It's probably my favourite meal to have. I mean, as my favourite... I mean, chicken is one of my favourite fruits, but not as favourite as curry. If you had a chicken curry or something else, chicken from Nando's, boy, I'd be in for that. So, I definitely like chicken. Uh, another food question. Do I like Nutella? Totally love Nutella. 
I don't know. I don't, I don't know how it came a big franchise. I mean, Nutella started off as a chocolate sauce for the poor. Now it's just come on as a sensation for millions in the world to buy. I love Nutella. Well, I'll join the millions and I say, I love Nutella. Question seven. Am I good at the cinnamon challenge? Well, okay. To the, quest- to the guy who answered this, Mr. Finley Woolman. I've not tried the cinnamon challenge, but actually, peeps, I'm going to try and attempt in one of my future videos. I'm going to try and plan out and do the paprika challenge. I don't think it's probably the... I mean, we bought it, we bought our paprika like a year ago. It is not expired. It doesn't expire for quite a long time. So it's never been opened so I can get the first dose of it. Um, so the answer to the question is, I don't know because I haven't tried the cinnamon challenge, but I will attempt the paprika challenge in one of my future videos. Question eight, do I like Pokemon? Hell no, do I hate Pokemon. I mean, so, I mean, sorry to the Japan. I mean, these uh, these Japanese people who created Pokemon Gold are just stupid. They think it's a game for the active people. It is not. It's just walking around on your phone, just going like just to catch a stupid picture. I'm sorry. I don't like Pokemon, especially Pokemon Go. But I mean, the TV series is okay. But hell no, do I li- hell no, do I hate Pokemon? Hell no, do I hate Pokemon Go? So the answer is I hate Pokemon. <laughs> Question nine, describe myself in three words. Well, I can't use simple personal fare because I think that's one from the bank adverts. So let me think. Okay, one of them would be wacky. I think another would be daring. And the other one would be fun. I know, just three simple words, but here we go. Wacky, daring, fun. That's how I'm going to describe myself in three words. Next question. Why am I human? Okay. Who knows what it could have been in my previous life? I could have been a material. I could have just been... I might have been nothing. I might have been something else. Who knows what I would have been. Why am I human? Probably what millions would say. I don't know why I'm human. My final question is... Would I kill a cow or a chicken? <laughs> well, to the guy who answered this, this is actually a good question. Thank you very much to Zavi Conroy who asked this. Would I kill a cow or a chicken? That is a question. I mean, I mean, cows I'd get my breakfast of, and chicken, which I said in one of the previous questions, I love. Mm, I'm going to have a think about that. Okay, so I actually figured out what my answer is. I'd kill a cow. A, because I love chicken, and that, I love chicken, even, even though I'd like to see them alive, still. A cow, I know he just gives us milk and all that, um, but still, who knows, you could actually have chicken for breakfast, who knows, sounds disgusting, chicken for breakfast. So, therefore, I would kill a cow. Any more questions? No, I don't have any more questions, so thank you very much for seeing this first ever YouTube video on Johnny Ross Vlogs. Make sure to follow me on my Twitter, I'm at johnnyross 5 and if you want to check me out on my Instagram, I'm on Johnny Ross, at Johnny Ross Official. Well, hopefully I'm going to do my next video and that should be the paprika challenge. See you soon. Peace.